Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you, Franz van Holzaz is explaining his creation. I've always said, people should be attracted to our vehicles without realizing they re electric comma he tells me. It showed in TV, oh, that s an electric car dot. In a way, he s made that impossible. Van Holzazen became Tesla's chief designer in 2008, the Model S he pen made Tesla the most recognized electric car maker in the world. Now hundreds of thousands of customers await delivery of the car in front of us, the Tesla Model 3. None of them are confused about what s under the hood. The Model 3 was conceived to bring electric cars into the mainstream. Driving toward Tesla's headquarters in Fremont, California. You might think that s already been accomplished. On my way to meet Von Holzazen and collect our Model 3 test car at the factory, I encounter several examples of the midsize electric sedan in traffic. The earliest cars off the assembly line went to Tesla employees, regular customers began receiving theirs in the last weeks of 2017. Our plan is to spend an entire day with the Model 3, using it the way an enthusiast would in spirited back road driving as well as regular highway commuting. A real world test with an emphasis on the sporty side of Tesla's semi-autonomous, semi-affordable experiment. Currently, the only Model 3s being built are top spec models, fitted with the optional long range battery, $9,000, 310 mile range per EPA, and premium upgrades package, $5,000. Base models at $35,000 will come later, as tested, our vibrant tread example stickers at $52,500. The exterior styling is unmistakably Tesla, an impressive feat for an automaker with less than a decade of history to draw from. Van Holzazen tells me he wanted the Model 3 to look friendlier than the Model S, achieved mostly by a different headlight shape. The ever-shrinking, and totally non-functional, Tesla grille is finally completely absent, the lofty roofline looks ungainly from certain angles, but the chiseled flare of the rear fenders makes up for it. The glass roof over the front seats is optional, while the giant rear windscreen will be standard on all models. The tinted gradient of the glass roof shifts colors in changing light. Moving from mice blue to warm copper dot the interior is almost unrecognizable as an automotive design. The Model 3's dashboard is an exercise in fanatical minimalism. It is perfectly symmetrical, completely bereft of buttons, knobs, or any kind of moving parts. Save for twin stocks serving the turn signals and gear selector. Every control on the Model 3 is accessed from the central touch screen. The equatorial dash vent mixes horizontal and vertical air jets to precisely angle the flow as you desire, controlled by moving a dot on a cross on the touch screen. Twin trackballs on the steering wheel, and labeled and, admittedly, a little cheap feeling, offer stereo controls, voice activation, or side view mirror and steering column adjustment, depending on which touch screen menu is active. Even windshield wiper speed is adjusted from the monitor. The left hand third of the screen always displays the driver's instrument panel, speedometer, odometer, gear selection, and the federally required icons for turn signals, parking brake, and malfunction indicators. The rest of the desktop computer like screen cycles between navigation, stereo, and car setup menus. It was designed, in part, to feel natural in our presumed autonomous future when the car is driving itself, the thinking goes, you don't need all that information staring you in the face. It has also an effort at being trendliness, to make sure this car no S&T someday betray itself as having been styled in 2017. You can get in other cars and play the date game just by looking at the buttons comma von holes as and tells me. We put everything in, the touch screen and achieve a certain timelessness. Thought. Leaving the Fremont factory with a fresh, fully charged battery, our first order of business is acceleration testing. By our measure, the mid-size Tesla romps from 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, the quarter mile takes 13.67 at 103.1 miles per hour, 
each run burning up 1% of battery life. The Model 3 lives for the highway roll. Dead stop acceleration is soft for the first thick, swelling into a broad wave of to work once we removing. The 5070 Sprint takes 2.5 seconds, the immediate hit feeling like the world's unlaggiest turbo motor. It has an unusual sensation in an entry luxury sedan, mounting the accelerator and squirting away without the drama of a downshift, accompanied only by the growing rush of wind and the receding ring of high power circuitry. You can T call it throttle response there as no throttle at the other end of the right pedal, only a flood of electrons but the slap of thrust appears even before your right foot hits the floor. We head into the looping mountain roads at the edge of Fremont, nearly abandoned on this weekday afternoon. The steering is a shock and delight. The Model 3 sports an incredibly quick crack just two turns lock to lock with three levels of boost available through the small diameter steering wheel. I keep it in sport, where firm weighting and impressive feedback help mitigate the dartiness of such a responsive wheel. The knife-sharp steering would be unpleasant if it wasn't T for the Model 3's low center of gravity. The newest Tesla weighs just over 3,800 pounds, half a ton lighter than the Model S, with all the battery weight slung under the floor, the Model 3 dives into corners with hardly any body roll. The driver's seat is far forward in the wheelbase, behind a notably shallow dash, perfectly positioned to feel the car pivot around the inside front wheel. Suspension tuning is compliant, never feeling overly firm or crashy even on the choppy, barely maintained pavement of California's mountain routes. For now, all Model 3s are rear drive, long range models, a single 271 horsepower motor hiding between the back wheels. Like every Tesla, the Model 3 has unflappable grip, finessing power output instantaneously and nearly imperceptibly as traction conditions shift. Regenerative braking handles all but the most manic decelerations, a firm and linear pedal operating the backup disc brakes. Out on the road, the Model 3 feels special. There is an eagerness to the car. Steering, acceleration and chassis are nearly perfectly balanced, no one trait overpowering the others. Outward vision is expansive, the low dash, tall windshield, and minimized day pillars making it easy to place the car in corners. Through twisty mountain roads, the car feels dynamically cohesive, thoughtfully tuned. It has the kind of friendly, engaging drive that could make anyone excited to slide behind the wheel. Hustling the Model 3 is rewarding and undemanding. This isn't a car you drive with an iron grip and dilated pupils. It is playful, charming, involved without demanding sacrifices in comfort or usability. That fun-to-drive character though s and feel like a contrivance. Tesla does and build us as the performance variant, though one is rumored to be coming. The optional 19-inch wheels were uninspiring all-season continental tires that howl if you push them too far. But just below the limit, there is joy in the very design of this car, rooted in the electric, drive brainless subterranean center of gravity and snappy acceleration. There is something sincere about that. It has one thing to discover driving joy in a sports car that was painstakingly engineered to tickle the pleasure neurons of autocrossers and track rats. Finding that in a family sedan a car aimed at entry luxury four-door buyers, the silver drones of white-collar office parks worldwide is an unexpected delight. A small handful of models in automotive history have offered such immediate, unfettered brightness to regular non-gearhead drivers. Think of Sir Alec Isigenis's riotously tossable Mini, BMW's revelatory 2002. The Model 3 shares something with those legends, it sneaks engaging, emotive driving into the hands of buyers who weren't even looking for it. Or at least it promises to providing Tesla can someday achieve the production goals it swore would happen months ago. The Grey Bay Area morning turns into a misting, overcast afternoon. We tumble down from the hills and hit the freeway for a test of autopilot. Tesla packs 7 cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors and forward-facing radar into every Model 3, enough hardware to support future feats of increasing autonomy with over-the-air software updates. The current version of autopilot works well enough that there isn't too much to say about it. When lane lines are clearly visible, 
it happily steers along, tailing the vehicle in front of you at your preset distance or speed. Leave the wheel unattended for long enough, and the top left corner of the center display flashes blue to draw your attention. Keep ignoring it, and you will be grounded from autopilot until the next time you start the car. The system still feels like it draws uncomfortably close to big rigs in adjacent lanes, something I've experienced in several autopilot samplings, but overall it feels competent. It is shocking how quickly you get used to it. I can say the same for the giant central display. It is easy enough to remember to look to the right to find your speed or odometer gazing through the steering wheel at a feature loose expanse of dashboard is a handy reminder. But it demands an extra thought to accomplish something that has been ingrained in every driver's mind. It has akin to a bottle company producing a righty loose see, lefty tidy jar. You do get used to it, eventually, but only after unlearning a deeply habitual behavior. In addition to the Model 3, Tesla gave us a Model SP100D to drive around for comparison. Ever since its introduction, the Model S has felt one step removed from normal cars, with its rocket acceleration and tablet dashboard. The Model 3 feels like it hails from a decade in the future. It redefines the scope, painting the Model S as the halfway point between conventional cars and the capital F future. Road and tire noise seeped into our Model S, while the Model 3 whooshed along in dampened silence, the studious minimalism of the 3S interior made the SS dash and door panels seem over-adorned. Outward vision from the SS driver's seat feels needlessly clipped. The esophagus squeezing rush of ludicrous mode is still as exhilarating as ever, but it makes the hefty, uneager to turn Model S feel like a one-trick Zev. If the KS was an ambitious and successful first experiment, the three benefits from everything Tesla has learned since. There are skills that Tesla still hasn't mastered. Our Model 3S turn signals blinked unsteadily and far too fast, like it was one incandescent bulb short of a complete circuit. Tesla says this was fixed with a software update after he returned the car. One DRL was notably dimmer than the other. Body panel gaps particularly around the doors, were gaping and inconsistent, the paint showed a few sags and one spot of mismatched hue on the driver rest door. There is a deep irony here, Tesla assembles its cars in what used to be known as New United Motor Manufacturing Incorporated, or NUMI, a factory once jointly operated by GM and Toyota in an effort to teach Japanese quality control and tight tolerances to American auto workers. As the sun went out behind Bay Area clouds, there was one thing left to do. It involved disconnecting some crucial components. The method is not described in any owner's manual or handbook, the option is unavailable from the touchscreen. Your service department likely would not be happy with you attempting it. The car certainly wasn't tea. Returning to Tesla's Fremont factory after dark. I thought back to what I expected from the car at the start of the day. The news out of Tesla has not been all positive lately, particularly when it comes to building the Model 3 in mass numbers. It feels like a real car. Prior to my Tesla factory visit, I briefly drove a Model 3 that had just been delivered to one of the first non-employee customers. Both vehicles were solid, silent, and substantial. Body and trim alignment issues aside, the cars felt complete, well-engineered, cohesive in philosophy and design. Tesla entered the auto industry tenuously with the first-generation Roadster. The Model S was revolutionary on introduction and stayed fresh with continual updates and improvements. The Model X proved that even the sleekest design gets torquified in the transition to SUV. The Model 3 proves that Tesla is thinking far beyond the edges of the Model S and X stepping out of the 3, you realize that, as far as the S and X pushed the envelope, they were always meant as intermediaries, stepping stones designed to draw people away from comfortable convention and into the future of the automobile. Previous Teslas defined themselves by the standard paradigms, sports car, luxury sedan, flashy crossover. The Model 3 is Tesla at its most unabashed. It is an automaker finally willing to abandon the skimmerism of a false radiator grille, the tradition of a driver-oriented gauge panel.
It is as daring today as the Volkswagen Beetle was in the days after World War II, as dedicated to unconventional solutions as all days Saab. It'll it take years to find out whether Tesla can make the electric car ubiquitous. The Model 3 is the right car for the task but accomplishing this feat will require building them in the hundreds of thousands, at a level of quality the newcomer automaker has yet to master. If Tesla can hack it, then holes as Nestream may yet come through. People will look at a Tesla and they want to wonder what propels it because, if the plan works, electric cars will be the new norm. Thank you for watching our video, please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.